Okay, so we left off on lesson 5.1, inserting and modifying pictures, and it's it's a long one. It inv involves making a photo album right in the middle of it. I never liked the way they have this one, but hey, we do what we do, we get what we get, and we can't pitch a fit. So here we go. Click slide 2. On slide 2, your Dublin Tour slide, uh, you're going to click under Picture Tool, click the picture, and then under the Picture Tools Format tab, you're going to select Corrections over in the left of the tab, or left of the ribbon. So, Corrections. And notice that when you hover over, you can soften, sharpen, and you can change brightness and contrast, and you should get a live preview as you hover over the different options. We want you to find the one that is called brightness zero, normal, contrast, negative 40. There we go. And it says under the picture tools format tab, you're going to adjust the color. So now go to color and they want you to select black and white 25%. So black and white 25%. It's right there. Now, with black and white 25%, now we're going to change our picture border. So in the picture styles group, picture border, do the drop down menu and you are going to select whatever color you want. It's a black and white picture. Let's do a green. Okay, now you can barely see the picture border, so back up to picture border, change the weight of it, and let's make it two and a quarter. I'm going to resize mine just a little bit. There. Okay, next, now we're going to compress pictures. When you insert pictures, especially from the new cameras and phones, they're huge. So one way to make your PowerPoint still look good but not take up as much space is to compress. So what you're going to do is click the Compress Pictures button and clear the checkbox that says Apply to this picture only so it does all the pictures. Leave the one for deleting cropped areas and let's accept the default resolution and say OK. Next, now let's change a picture. So under Picture Tools, where it says Change Picture, do the drop-down menu and you're going to say From a File. And they want you to select the one that's called Golden Gate Bridge. Notice it changes the picture, but it did keep the picture frame that we put on it. But it doesn't make sense to have a Dublin Tour slide in a Golden Gate picture. So let's go back to Change Picture from File and select Dublin again and say Insert. Notice that the black and white 25% is gone, but we still have our picture frame. So let's, with this picture selected, make sure it's formatted to a specific size, it needs to be five inches. So I'm going to change, click the button to make it exactly five inches tall. You may need to go up or down depending on how you sized yours. Next, verify you still have the Dublin picture selected. Now we're going to learn about artistic effects. And notice when you hover over in live preview, some of these are kind of creepy, some of them are kind of cool. Everybody seems to like this one. That's not my favorite, but it's colorful. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to find the one that's called light screen. Should be the third row, first option. I think that's one of the worst ones. So. One of the cool things we get to do is learn how to reset a picture. So right here, reset a picture. If you do the drop down menu, you can reset the picture. Boom. So we have the right size, but we took that terrible artistic effect off. Now we're going to learn step nine, which is apply styles and effects. So change to your Golden Gate picture on the San Francisco tour slide. Go up to Artistic Effects, so with the picture selected, Picture Tools, Format, Artistic, and let's hold your mouse over the various effects, find the one, whoa, 
Um, look for the one called Cutout. It's the bottom left. Not very good, but hey, that's we're doing what we're told. I'm always good at doing what I'm told. Now let's put a frame on it. So here in Picture Styles, we're going to hover over and find the one called Metal Frame, which happens to be third one over top row. Then under Picture Tools, Picture Tools, you're going to select uh, Picture Effects, More, and there's a shadow. You're going to look for the one that's called Picture Styles Group. Oh, Drop Shadow. Sorry. Drop Shadow is over here. You need to find the one called Drop Shadow. It should be first row, fourth option. Right there. Step 10. Oh, we're almost there. How can we make this picture look worse? Well, this is actually a useful tool. I've used it before. It's called the Remove Background. So with Golden Gate Bridge picture selected on the top left of your picture format ribbon, click Remove Background. And it's going to make purple everything that's going to disappear. Notice some weird things are happening with the hands. Oh, and we need to crop too. So, uh, let me discard changes and let's crop. Sorry about that. That's what I get for not reading. You need to crop it. And when you click the crop button, it gives you the crop handles that you can drag down and you can get people to focus on the content of what's there. So, let's call that pretty good. And just click the crop button again, and now it's cropped. I'm going to move it up so it's a little easier to see. Now let's try that remove background again. Remove background. Notice it says, well, this is what you got. Notice the top of uh, this lady's head is cut off. We've got some weird things going on with legs and bikes. Uh, let's mark areas to keep. And I think the top of her head belongs, so I just drew a little line over it. Notice it said, oh, we're going to keep that color everywhere. Now this invisible spot in the arm and the invisible arm and leg or hand, the invisible bike. Notice how when I draw over these areas, it just says, oh, it looks like you want to keep that. And that looks pretty good. And I'll say keep changes. Notice it kept the drop shadow on there. And we can see that it did a pretty good job of trimming all around the edges. So anything uh, that you're unhappy with, you can always go back to remove background. And we're going to finish by saying discard all changes. We'll leave it like that and submit it and get it. Oh, change a picture. How did they get me on that? All right. I'm going to return to Jasper Active, and I'm going to change that picture. Oh, the bugger about this one, you guys, is that I have to reinsert all those slides and pictures. However, I'm going to teach you a trick here right now. So I'm going to insert a new slide. And then we had biking tours, Dublin tours, San Francisco Tours, Logo, Screen Clipping 1, Screen Clipping 2. So we should have six slides in front of those two. Now, when I change a picture, it needs to be on the Golden Gate. So I'm going to go to Slide 2, and this is the one where I was supposed to have the picture inserted. So I'm going to go get that picture. Documents, Jasper Active, Resource Files. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's supposed to be Dublin. Excuse me, cancel. Go back to the Dublin slide, insert a picture, Dublin, and then we changed Dublin to Golden Gate. So this should fix it. Change picture from a file, change it to Golden Gate, and insert. Okay, now 
it says change picture Dublin change picture from a file Dublin insert then close the selection pane um, oh I need to rename it so that's what I did wrong so with the picture selected call it Dublin oh this is what I get for not reading closely all right now change the height of the picture to five and that should be it so I'm going to click that submit it and get our hundred percent this time Ugh, it's killing me all right you guys see what you need to do you need to make sure you have it on the right slide I'm gonna stop this video so it's not too long but I am gonna beat this one so thank you very much and we'll call this a video if I don't get it email me and I'll fix it for you.